all right man we are returning here again with the dragon ball z spark and zero mugen to me kind of like that as y'all know in mugen man as y'all know for the people who hasn't seen man i decided to hop on this dragon ball z 2d crazy type mugen man i'm not gonna lie they have so many different characters so many different things and today i decided to go in it play it watch some ai fights and all that etc if y'all like dragon ball z y'all gonna love this video man so if y'all new drop a follow tap that feel me subscribe man spark and zero is on the way and today feel me we had to hop in early man but let's get into dragon ball z spark and zero and mugen i am not going to be the only one to lose here guy sensei please let this work it is now or never fist of a guy like rock lee leg weight all can't stop me drunken fist at top speed and gates flow get pop d fist up on me no talk just hands all right, man, we seen it in the intro. We are here inside of Budokai Tenkaichi 4 Mugen, basically like Sparking Zero, like I said once again, but in Mugen, man. I'm very excited to play this, man, just because if you feel me, Sparking Zero is coming out very, very soon. I've been checking out a whole lot of different Mugens trying to branch out in content, feel me? And today we are coming here with this, man. I actually want to play this like like there's a new thing coming out and like a like an emulator and all that. And I think I want to play that as well. But today we come here on the Budokai Tenkaichi 4 Mugen, man. This shit is looking so gas, man. I did some test fights, did some test runs. And as y'all see, man, you literally get to do the entire menu, man. If y'all are excited for this or you want to test that side yourself, look up Budokai Tenkaichi 4 Mugen. And they have just like this just looks very insane, man. We got the entire roster, man. We're going to be watching some fights here today. I even plan on playing some fights here, maybe in a different video, not probably not not this video i like the other spark and zero movie we hopped on but this one just looks like it's on a whole nother different level because this is just bringing us back to the budokai tankaichi days man but shit we finna get lit man like i said we're gonna be getting crazy on this roster um i don't even know who we're gonna see i'm probably gonna do some crazy ass matchups y'all know I, i'm a big fan of broly i like seeing like just mad different characters we may even do some random battles you know what i mean do a little bit of team battles and stuff like that we'll probably start with broly uh dbs super and I kind of want to see Gohan um, put them two against each other. So we're going to see Broly versus Gohan. Two, you know, menace to society type. Not menaces, but like two very strong potential type characters. And shit, let's get into the first match, man. And I'm not going to lie, I had to bring this back. They even got the Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi loading screen, which is just so gas, bro. Because look at this shit. Like, it makes me really feel like, oh, a fight's going to go down. Okay, we got Broly down here on the bottom left. And I kind of like how they have their meters and stuff in this game. It looks tough. Okay. And Gohan transforming, popping a little bit of a mode and stuff here. But let me know, the are y'all Budokai fans? Like, what do y'all think of Budokai Tenkaichi 4, man? I feel like, or two, Budokai Tenkaichi 3, man. Obviously, you know, I feel like it's one of the best Dragon Ball Z games of all time. But um, it's a lot of nostalgia. The game is amazing. And it, honestly, in terms of rosters and everything, it'll probably be the best Dragon Ball Z game forever. But um, I feel like I definitely enjoy Xenoverse gameplay maybe a little bit more. Obviously, the newer gameplay obviously is meant to be, play better. But um... Oh my god, I'm not gonna lie, they're kind of rumbling a little bit. I, you feel me? Sometimes when you get on these new movements, you don't expect them to really be throwing hands like that. But these niggas kind of throwing the bitches a little bit. Okay, go on, got this nigga Broly in the corner to pop in a little bit of combos. Okay. Oh yeah, and this nigga Gohan's popping ultimate attack. And like I said, let me know, are y'all excited for Spike and Zero and what are y'all playing it on? I'm personally getting it on PC. I might even get it on PlayStation to play on my PlayStation, niggas. Because I'm not going to lie, that game is going to be another level. I want to get it on PC for sure, just for the mods and stuff. But I might get it on everything, you know, that's low-key a plan. Um, I know it comes out in October, man. It's already uh, July. You feel me? Going on August, man. So just be ready, y'all. I'm telling y'all. But Broly's starting to bring this back. Nigga slam and go on the round, start trying to get right. And um, for our first fight, I'm not going to lie, these niggas is putting it in right now. Who y'all gonna be maining, bro? I think I'm gonna be maining. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm probably gonna be maining Future Trunks, the buff one, or Bro and Broly, because you get to play two characters. But if um, I might play the Legendary Super Saiyan Broly and Super Broly. But would I be wrong for that? <laughs> that would be crazy, right? Oh, if they make Beast Gohan, that might definitely be something I might play too, just because he got that dripping shit on. And Bardock, I like Bardock a lot too. But um, so far, my fault y'all, I've been rambling a little bit. Sparking Zero got me excited. And you guys are going to see it a lot on this channel. So make sure to feel me pop out for all that. I might do ranked on every single character. Ranked a uh, ranked series, you feel me? And um, you never know for real. But okay. Yep, here we go. Gohan catches some combos. And I'm not going to lie, I like the way this Gohan combos. You know, originally I get to see him fight. I used to see him fight a lot. But his combos were a little bit quicker and different the way he uses them now. 
But um, I'm, I kind of fuck with how these guys are putting this, this action right now. You feel me? They're, they're putting in some nice moves, some nice combos. Okay, Broly goes Super Saiyan 3. I mean, Super Saiyan, not Super Saiyan 3. My bad, y'all. He goes Super Saiyan. Oh, can he go green hair? That's low-key something I would like to see if he can. But um, it looks like Gohan might be dead here. Yep, and Gohan loses to my boy Broly there. Um, is that is that 1-1 one, one or, or is that a 2-0? Uh, okay, Broly takes the W. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of a W victory screen. Let me know if y'all enjoy this, but uh, I'm not going to lie. We might have to see like a like a 2v2 type battle. We'll, we'll be right back. All right, I'm confirmed. Like, I'm convinced that every map up in this bitch is ass. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've been looking at all of them, and I can't find one good map. Like, I'm starting to see that some of them have zoom, though. So that makes them a little bit better. But, um, okay. Hope we're getting some nice combos. I feel like this definitely could be something that could be very, very interesting, very entertaining if the maps get improved. I'm not going to lie. Some of the characters, we got to see what they can do. I, I see Goku. Okay, I was, I've seen this Goku, I've seen a Vegeta as well. I didn't know if they could transform though. But um, we're seeing right now that these niggas definitely can transform. Goku going Super Saiyan 3. Okay. Super Saiyan God. Okay, so yeah, so these niggas have all their forms. I'm guessing. Because there's no way he just stops at Super Saiyan God. I wonder if he can go Super Saiyan, um, not Super Saiyan Blue, uh, Ultra Instinct. We're going to have to see. Oh my God, he's putting that pain on Goku right now though. Holy shit, Tobo's not playing no games. Okay, there we go. Goku getting out of the corner. Get some nice hits in. And like I said, if Goku wants to win this, yep, he's going to have to go MUI or UI. And here we go. We got MUI popping out. And I didn't know the nigga had everything in his kit, which is definitely very tough. This is a turns battle, you guys. It's Goku and Vegeta versus Topo and um Jiren. I should have put Goku behind Vegeta, but fuck it. I'm not even going to lie. Okay. Nice little combos. Goku trying to get some good hits in. Okay. Little combo right here. Okay. There we go, Kamehameha, yeah, and I already know, I was about to say that, Kamehameha is going to do damage every time. Goku getting a little bit of a charge up here, dodging my boy Jiren, not Jiren, Topo a little bit, and um, definitely seeing him going against Jiren very early, because I'm not going to lie, he's putting the pain on Topo. Topo's definitely taking some damage, and there we go, Goku takes round one, um, shit, next up is obviously Jiren, and Goku keeps the same health, which is kind of tough, I do like that, I do like that a lot. Um... I know Jiren has to have some type of full power mode or some type of mode, you know, transforming, getting stronger. But um, we're going to see if Goku can take both of them out alone. Oh, my God. And Goku's combos are so tough, bro. Okay. Both of them charging up. Jiren has seven bars of meter. Oh, my God. That, that's Glaze. <laughs> I did not imagine. Niggas are, niggas are saying that's Glaze. Now, that is crazy, though. I did not gonna lie. Seven bars of meter. Nobody should have that in the game. But, um... Jiren is a, is a monster. I can't even lie. So I'm not surprised. But I don't think, I think even when I was looking at Beerus, he didn't have that many bars. So it's like, damn, nigga must have been a Jiren fan for a heavy Jiren fan. I like Jiren, but shit. <laughs> Might as well just pull his pants back up. Okay. I'm not going to lie. Jiren's low-key folding in this match right now. He's going to like have a hard time with Vegeta. We might have to watch another match with Vegeta because it looks like MUI Goku might just take this bitch home right now. Yep. I already knew it, man. Let's get into the next fight. All right. I kind of wanted to do a battle between Goku and Vegeta, like the battle of obviously, you feel me, the Saiyans in all their forms. So it's 3v3. We got Goku with Super Saiyan 3 going against Vegeta Super Saiyan 3. Don't ask me why they have Vegeta Super Saiyan 3. I'm not the guy to answer that. But like I said, we're going to see both of them. And I'm not going to lie, you, Vegeta, and they're already putting in some combos. But um, yeah, they both have Super Saiyan 3. Then it's Goji Goku Super Saiyan 4 against Vegeta Super Saiyan 4. And then lastly, we have MUI Goku. I wish we had Ultra Ego Vegeta in this. But we have Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. So fuck it, feel me? Uh, we, we don't get the latest Vegeta, but we get some close. Okay, yeah, Goku putting in some pain. And I'm not going to lie, right now, Vegeta's going down sad, bro. Like, I expected to take like him to, to lose a little bit, but... uh. I thought it would be a little bit closer than it is right now. And oh my god, okay. Yeah, Vegeta's going down right now. Goku, they're both charging up. Now they're charging each other. And like I said, y'all, join the Discord down below. Send me some Mugans to try out because I do plan on expanding more like this, you guys. I want to see more Mugans experience more things. And um, I think I'm going to do Sonic next, you know. Spark and Zero in the, in the Budokai series and shit would be lit. But, um, you know, we got to do everything, you know. I want to branch out and do more things, but... uh. Goku takes round one to go on and versus uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So, uh, oh, it's Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta actually looks kind of clean. I kind of messed with his sprite. Okay. Okay. And I, I don't think either one of them can mode. But um, I know if they could mode, that would be kind of crazy. But I, Vegeta wouldn't make any sense. Okay. Vegeta ultimate attack. Final shine attack. I haven't seen that in years, bro. I think the last time I seen that move was on Xenoverse. Oh my god, that brings back a lot of memories, but that was definitely tough. Now we got Goku going against Vegeta straight up. And um, 
they're back to being tied again you know actually that's definitely tough goku popping a mode here vegeta popping a mode okay so they both can power up okay goku with the the red kamameha what is that uh is this okay i forget what kamameha that is what is it called final kamameha or something i forget okay some nice little combos and let me know did y'all like gt like i said i feel like gt has the best transformations of all time in anime not in anime i'm wilding in dragon ball z you know i love super saiyan 4 i think that's the best transformation at least you guys gotta put it in the top three it might not be your favorite i know you like it a lot of people like MUI. and MUI looks drippy believe me but super saiyan 4 just that red coat and everything it just looks so tough bro and i like super saiyan 3 a lot too though but um y'all just can't you can't lie to me super saiyan 4 is definitely tough other than that though the story is definitely a little slow and i don't like the art style you know i don't like why did they change the art style it looks older than dragon ball z kai and that doesn't make any sense to me or dragon ball z in general it just looks older than that and i feel like that just doesn't make any sense but um i feel like they definitely had some interesting takes inside of dragon ball gt but um yeah back to the battle i'm not gonna lie this is definitely uh going in goku's favor for the most part goku putting in pain right now oh and i think this is my boy bloodbath's uh goku because the way he's fighting, he's low-key reminded me of that. Pretty sure he is. So this had to come out rather, be rather pretty new. Yeah, okay, yeah. Goku's putting in the pain on Vegeta right now. Okay. Goku popping a mode right here, and that could be very bad for Vegeta. Vegeta pushing up. I thought he was popping ultimate attack there, but um, I mean, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Ooh, he's the dragon face might kill okay it didn't kill it didn't kill but it did a lot of damage okay what is this okay vegeta catches some nice combos and vegeta takes it home there we made it to the last two people and what might be the, obviously the little bit of a final battle i'm excited oh my god he tried to send that goku to another land <laughs> i think he's trying to send goku to the, the next the next realm okay makes a kefla okay goku got a little bit of voice tracks my boy my boy speaks english mess with that Oh, this Goku could be hit too. I, I like that about every why some Gokus can be hit. And oh my god, Goku takes a lot of damage. They're getting half health, but takes Vegeta down in a final battle, man. I'm not gonna lie, I want to see one more match in a 101. Oh my god, he's standing. Nigga start talking to Vegeta? Well, that was gas, but we're gonna see one more match. And um, well, let's do it. Oh, right, we ended it off with the Suns. I want to see Trunks and Gohan get one last little battle in. I know both of these guys should be able to go Super Saiyan. Trunks is getting a little bit of a power up. So is Gohan. Gohan going straight to Super Saiyan 2. That might be very bad for my boy Trunks because um, that is not what you want to let Gohan do, especially if you don't have a, at least Super Saiyan on. But I know Trunks should be able to at least go Super Saiyan. Holy shit, this nigga Gohan spamming that Masenko. Okay. Yep, Gohan getting some nice hits. And I expect this from Gohan in another mode. Okay, Gohan's locking in. Oh, it looked like Trunks was finna lock in for a second. But Gohan stops him, which is definitely very smart on Gohan's part. Oh my god, Gohan's low-key locked in. I didn't know this nigga had multiple modes like this. And um, we gotta see what my boy Trunks does. He's literally just powering up. Bro, pop Super Saiyan game. Why are you powering up right now? Okay, here we go. Now we got Trunks Super Saiyan going against Gohan Super Saiyan 2. And this is low-key the battle I was looking for. Okay, they both charging up. This could be an even match right now. I'm not gonna lie. Go Gohan's up a little bit. No, no. There we go. Now it's even. Monseiko? Oh, uh, nah. Yeah, I don't know why Gohan's Monseiko sprite looks a little bit weird, but, um... Okay. I know what Gohan's gonna lose here. Okay, Gohan getting out of the attack. Back it up. Monseiko? Okay. Three bars for Gohan. Can Gohan do something? Wait, okay, wait a minute. This could be something crazy if Gohan could pull off something. I'm not gonna lie. If he keeps this thing in the corner, though, it's definitely not looking good for Trunks. And there we go. Trunks takes the battle. Um... That was definitely something cool, man. I enjoyed this roster. Some of the characters are all right. The maps could definitely be better. But we're exploring many new rosters, so you can let me know down below what you want to see next. Man, I hope you all enjoyed Budokai Tenkaichi 4. And um, as a gang, we out of here.